Jersey at a video game con in 2018. Thanks for coming out. Everyone here from Jersey and in New York or two? Big warp roll. Yes. Yay, Jersey Shore and the Guidos. When I first moved to uh, San Diego, it was 2009, and Jersey Shore was really popular. I think now they, they resurrected it. Now they all are 55 years old, which is funny. Too much sun, too much GTL. Anyway, so uh, everyone asked me, people I met, is it really like that? Is it, are people really like that? And yes, we know there are really people like that in Jersey Shore, unfortunately. I have one here today at the end, my friend Enzo. Hey Enzo, say hi to Enzo. Hi Enzo. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but um, yeah, but it's that. Anyway, I'm here. So we have some little technical things going on. Well, that works. <laughs> Is that, that, that works. I have my flash card. We could, uh, Good. That, that, that works? Okay. Do the play, that's the play function. Now we're going to try to see if we can uh, hook up the laptop. In the meantime, while this is going on, I'll, work around. I'll stand up so you guys can see me. Uh, we're doing some Q&A, I guess, if you want. Do you have any questions about me or my project or anything, Frank, or anything at all? Denise, you can ask me. Those are there in the box. Yes, sir. How is your Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt coffee table coming? How's my Super Mario Duck Hunt coffee table coming? At what point, I actually had about probably 25 to 30 Super Mario Duck Hunt cards, for real. Uh, you should ask James, though, as well. He was in that video as well, asking about the Duck Hunt card. Yes, sir. Uh, well, you have any more on the Will there be yeah. more flea market madness? Oh, so I have about so 10 or 12 that I have to edit still oh, so from like two years ago. <laughs> oh, more. So I should get to that before people think I'm crazy because the game prices are lower than some of the. Oh, you can pay us up on that deal. I should probably add it. Now. Yes, there will be some auto added. In terms of new ones, though, I don't know if we need more than that. There's not a lot of deals uh, uh, happening. Uh, yeah, so. You guys like the Flea Madness? You guys like it? Yeah. 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 You really want to see me just find the same like box of the Xbox games every week? Is that fun? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's entertaining just for Frank, though, right? I thought about what if I live stream flea markets Ooh. on Twitch, but then I think some people would be would be nutty and like calling like the SWAT team on me. I think they swap the flea market on that. Say, like, hey, so this guy has a gun. I, that's what that's what's scary about that stuff. But I thought about it. I think it'd be fun. A yard sale. Yard, yard sale madness. Yard sale madness. Live, live yard sale. That could be a thing. Hard to swap that. I might consider that. Look on Craigslist and get get the nice listings. You know, of garage sales and uh, go for it from there. Yes. That was one of my, that was my first major. I dropped it because I was failing uh, calculus, but yes, sir. <laughs> Thanks for that memory. <laughs> my original plan was just to get a decent paying job because, you know, it was, it was a tech bubble. You're at, you know, X.com, you had all these new websites, this weird thing called Amazon and Google. So my dad was like, oh, this is going to be a good job when you get out of school. Thank God I didn't work school because... Between 98 and 2002, I graduated, the tech bubble happened when we had that bad recession. And there were too many people that were already in IT and couldn't get a job if you were trying to do it. So it was a rough time for a lot of people. I didn't get, I didn't get, yes sir. So, unfortunately, it's the only two projectors on the set. There's a few of them, one projector, you're going to be a significant projector around this one. Okay. Let me know when this one's ready to go. It's ready to go as soon as we talk like something. I see. Okay. So, okay. I'm sorry, did I answer your question? Okay. Can we can close the door. Get some. Also, uh, we'll just turn this off. So. Sure. It's a mood light. All right. We'll do some more questions, and I, I'll show a, a video from a documentary I'm executive producing and consulting on called uh, "Not for Resale." It's about the the sort of like the last gasp of physical video games and how that affects mom and pop shops. Yes, sir. What are you doing right now with that party on here? Are you taking a picture or a video of me on yeah. your iPad? Yeah, video. Okay. Um. <laughs> Do you speak any languages besides English? I know some Italian curses. <laughs> <laughs> actually, it took three years of Spanish, and I, and I actually got into the, the National Spanish Honor Society. 
but or I was going to that had to take AP Spanish, and I was too lazy to do that in senior year because I had like three other AP courses, so I was like, no, I'm good. But I should because I live uh, you know 20 minutes away from Mexico. I probably should have learned Spanish. <laughs> but I know certain Italian curses from my father and grandfather. Mamma mia. I don't know if I want to know the answer to this, but okay, have you great. ever considered moving back to Jersey? Have I? Would you guys want to be back in New Jersey? Yeah. 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 Hey, my pizza! Come on, come on! Uh, well, I had some good pizza last night. And, and the good thing, it is true about the pizza. The thing with the pizza, though, I think it's it's the, the water they use in water. The water they use in the dough, not water like in San Diego. It's, 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 the dough is different. The cheese is way different. It's, 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 it's that mozzarella. It's, it's that cheese that's way different. That's the difference. I think the cheese is sourced differently somehow. It's like local mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella. Anyway, I guess it's there. But no, uh, what was I saying? I'm deflecting. Uh, I'm happy in San Diego. I like visiting New Jersey. I have friends in New Jersey. I have cousins. Some family. And this convention. That's so. definitely you in the house. You have to have your own house. So you can't have me back. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Will you refer to your to yourself now as Pat the Nest Punk? No. <laughs> this is bullshit. Uh, just because that dumb WarioWare game in Japan, Nintendo just did their Nintendo Direct saying with their with the NES games, right? Did they once say Nest on a Nintendo Direct talking about the Switch? I'm like, no, NES games. Case closed. Thank you, Reggie. Here's a name. Ridiculous. Nest. Sorry. Uh, the one that just happened? Yeah, the one, or, or the one that... I saw, I saw for the Switch Online, I didn't get a chance, I, I was preparing for this weekend, I didn't get a chance to really watch it all. Uh, we're going to talk about the podcast next week with my pal Ian Furs. Give it up for Ian Furs. Like, <laughs> uh, uh, I think it's surprising, uh, not too surprising about Animal Crossing. Um, the Capcom thing looks interesting, the Capcom fighting collection looks interesting. Obviously the Switch Online with NES games, we've been waiting for it. You're going to start with the 20 games and then have three added each month just for NES. We don't know about the other consoles yet. I'm a little, I said on Twitter I was a little disappointed they're only going to add three games per month. But it looks like out of each month, two out of three are not first party games. So that's interesting. Super Dodgeball, one of my favorite games, is going to be added. It looks like the first month in. So yeah, I think, I think it's worth it. It's what, 20 bucks a year for Switch Online? Yeah. It's going to fix the old chat thing. But everyone uses Discord anyway now. Yeah. yeah. Promising things. I need to see the kid games butt at pro wrestling. <laughs> in the back. Uh, you first, you first. Oh, oh sorry. Um, I want to ask, uh, if you had the option to retire and have the NES for the series and pursue any series you want on your channel, what would you like? If I could do a new new series of shows? Well, you have to retire the company. Well, so it, could it be related at all to that? Well, I and mean, it could be related, but you have to retire the Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, that's a tough one. I thought about doing a, I always thought about doing sort of a, the adventures of like Pat and Frank sort of series, but it would be like a Pat character, but just not video game related. It would just be like Pat and Frank getting in trouble with like drug dealers. And, <laughs> and, uh, getting into a bar fight. I've actually thought about that. If I did a Kickstarter, I probably wouldn't raise the money, but do like an eight to ten part series like that. It could be funny. Okay. Just the friends? Yes. Just the adventures of no, Frank. <laughs> it's like Milo and Otis. <laughs> Cross country journey. And yes, the gentleman in front of you. Oh, uh, it's actually related. I was asking, because you mentioned possibly doing a board game or game show with Frank. Is that still on the table? Good, good point. Good for that point. Is a board game show on the table? Uh, I have too many projects right now. Um, I have. Obviously, a certain SNES guidebook that's in the works. Uh, after that's out next year, I think that'll free me up to maybe do other things like uh, thinking about kickstarting the you know, video game years in the 90s, potentially. Um, thinking about, I'm, I want to develop my own game. I have a game idea in my head that would be like a mobile game, but also could be like a game on Steam. Thinking about that. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see. That's like I can say. I'll we'll keep busy. I got, I got a documentary coming out. No, we'll get through this. Yes, sir. With the extended refund video, and also the Punk character, will the Pat Man is Punk character get any goofier than he is? Any less goofy. Less goofier? He would sure retire, I guess, on that. 
But that's a character story. I know. There's, some, <laughs> there's some of me in the book there. Uh, uh, there's going to be a new video. I shot it with someone who also might be a guest at this convention right now. Ooh. Oh. Exclusive. Uh, Why don't you guys lay these you stuff yourselves in this room? They hear that? Um, that'll come out probably by November. You told me. I thought about doing that again with Nintendo Direct coming out. Maybe there's a thing that the pump could come down with that. I gotta think about that quick though, because that comes out what, like three, four days? The online system? I got I gotta get thinking. I gotta get thinking. But that that'd be a fun little video. And like like, like a five, six minute video. Nothing too that's all I have the energy for right now. So I'm also planning like the uh, NES marathons coming back in November, trying to get on Twitch. If that go on, I'm an old man, I don't understand. I don't understand Snapchat and Twitch. That's how I know I'm old. That's how I know I'm old. Yes, sir. I do only stay in events, yes. Somewhere in my game, I don't know where it is. It's like I might guess somewhere, but yeah. I should put that in the ball. Yes? You've been in the video games for 30 plus years. If you go forward 30 years from now, what a perfect segue into the clip on the show. Will we play physical media 30 years from now? I think 30 years from now, it'll be very hard to find a console that's going to exist. Unless some weird throwback like that a chameleon thing I've, I've heard of once. It's going to be hard to find a console that's going to be produced brand new that'll have physical media 30 years from now. I think 15 years from now might be tough, or 20 years, but I think. Uh, well, 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 how about I show you this clip? Are we ready to, to, to go on a... Yeah, I'm just balancing have... you out there here, right? I'll need some... I, need, is, I is, will just stand here. Is your audio running through the HDMI? Audio is running through HDMI. It is. Okay. Yep. Here, let's make sure you're nice and... Let's make sure my volume's on here. All right, here's a clip from Not For Resale, um, which there should be a full trailer within a couple months or a teaser trailer for it. And uh, let, me, let me see if I can play this. And you're, really, you're literally bounced out with your hand. It's good. That's fine. <laughs> I'll keep it tilted. See, there's audio here. And there's no audio, so I, I can't. Hold on a second. Right. All these nerds. 